YouTube, Shikwin Shinobi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon trading card game Mega Metagross EX Premium Collection. Woo, premium. Yeah, not like premium Bandai. It's a little more affordable than that. A little bit. Easier to buy, too. But anyway, this is our first premium collection for the XY era. I believe they used the term premium collection at some point in the past. I don't remember it, though, but whatever. Anyway, um, this is the only premium collection to actually be laid out like this. The Deontay and uh, Absol ones were uh, basically kind of uh, made out completely different than this, but how they structured this one is that uh, this comes with two promo cards, a Metagross EX and a Mega Metagross EX, as you can see right up top here, as well as an exclusive coin, and um, a whole bunch of other stuff too. Um, up at the top here, we got a jumbo of the Mega Metagross EX, both of which are shiny. Shiny Metagross, because that was a thing when Oras came out. Ray shiny Metagrosses, as well as eight booster packs, and a playmat. Uh, this is the only retail release um, sort of box to come with a playmat. And um, we will definitely uh, show that off as well. This did retail for $49.99 at uh, normal retail. I picked this up um, on 4th of July weekend at the Pokemon US National Championships for a lot cheaper than $50.00. Because uh, that was just way too much for me to spend on one box uh, at the time that this came out. But um, for everything you get, it is kind of worth it. So let's go ahead and take it um, take it open and open a look. Or I have no idea where I was going to go with that. Okay, so before we get to anything else, here is the playmat uh, that is included. And uh, it's very plain. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. It does have, um, little cutouts for your prizes, as well as your bench, your discard pile, and your deck. And this says Mega Metagross in the middle, and kind of features the design of the shiny, uh, Mega Metagross, uh, which is kind of cool, but, um, if it had, like, the artwork from the, um, the promo card or something on there that would look a heck of a lot cooler it's uh it's simplistic uh yes so if you're going for something that's a little bit more subdued and a little bit more simplistic um then this might be a play mat for you especially if you like metagross but uh it's not really doing it for me but it is really cool that they are releasing some tcg boxes and stuff that do come with uh play mats there's just a rubber back with a nice, uh, I have no idea what material this is on the front. Perfect for playing uh, the card game on. Almost everyone uh, that plays the uh, TCG competitively uses playmats now. Uh, just because it um, does help uh, keep your cards a little bit safer. And it's uh, more or less just a lot easier to play on. Um, but as far as everything else in the box, you do get the two promo cards. Right here, and these are XY 34 and 35. Shiny Metagross EX and Shiny Mega Metagross EX. Gatling Slug does 10 damage more for each uh, Metal Energy attached to this Pokemon, so not really all that bad um, if you decide to power it up with Metal Energies instead of Double Colorless Energies. Because then you're looking at 190. 180. No, 190. 70. I don't know, math. Math is hard. <laughs> but uh, and not not too bad of a card, and actually one of our more playable um, promo card options for sure. And then, like I said, um, just like the uh, like Gladiax box and stuff like that, we do get a jumbo version of the shiny Mega Metagross, so that is cool. You also get a little coin with uh, Metagross's face on it, done in a kind of a light blue, the same color as uh, shiny Mega Metagross's X. A code card to play the Meta Metagross, e Meta Meta Mega Meta Meta Metagross EX <laughs> on Pokemon Training Card Game Online. Included uh, is two booster packs of XY, two of Flash Fire, two of Furious Fist, and two of Phantom Forces. Uh, and at the time, Phantom Forces was the newest set, so this is a nice little sample pack of the uh, current XY series cards that came out when this was released. So let's go ahead and kickstart this with the XY booster pack. 
we got. I think I moved one too few cards. Uh, Inke, Phantom, Bunnelby, Pumpkaboo, Panpour, Delcaddy, Fletchinder, Shauna, Wigglytuff, and a Chestnut. A hollow right out of the gate. Not too many playable cards in XY anymore. We have since moved on to bigger and better things, but Chestnut is still really cool. XY is also one of the few sets that has um, basic energy inside of it, as you can see with this grass energy right here. Pikachu, Nuzzle. I got Nuzzle locked at Nationals. That was really fun. Uh, <laughs> Hand Sage, a Fairy Energy, Venipede, Mr. Mime, Quilladin, an Evo Soda, a Reverse Hollow Volts Orb, and an Aegislash as our normal rare. So that does it for the X and Y booster packs. On to the Flash Fire. A very exciting set at the time of release. So let's see, we got uh, Litleo, Centret, Helioptile, love that little guy, Flabebe, Pidgey, Ultra Ball, always a good card to have extras of, Voltorb, Blacksmith, Reverse Graveler, and ooh, a Kangaskhan EX. Not bad at all. Mega Kangaskhan was actually a very playable card at the time Flashfire came out. Not so much anymore, but uh, still a really cool card to have. Get old Kangaskhan. So that is nice. We got an EX. Hopefully we got one or two more in this box as well. The more the merrier when it comes to EXs, as I always say. Got Caterpie, Pidgey, Helioptile, Fletchling, Duskull, Furfro, Maractus, Sacred Ash, another pretty good card. Shuffle five Pokemon from a discard into your deck. Reverse Sandile, and a Heliolisk. Love him too. Not a playable card by any means, but a Pokemon that I do really love. So, jumping to the Furious Fist, the Fist of Fury, or as my friend likes to call it, the Furriest Fists. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Electabuzz, uh, Trey Pinch, Noibat, I love Noibat a lot. Lickitung, Bellsprout, Jaw Fossil, Gatharita, Fighting Stadium, a Reverse Herbal Energy, and a Flygon. I do love Flygon a lot. I love a lot of Pokemon, apparently. But um, I do like Flygon. And actually, Flygon actually has a bunch of people that are battling. And there's a Hariyama right there. So Flygon's art's actually pretty cool. Never really looked at it all that close uh, before, so... I like it when other Pokemon are in other Pokemon's artwork. Eevee. Lickitung, Torchic, Machop, Gafita, Karina, Hitmonlee, Mianshao, Reverse Amora, and a Hariyama. Maybe the same one that's battling Flygon. Never know. Uh, <laughs> so that is actually kind of cool. But um, that's a good EV too. Uh, energy evolution. If you attach a basic energy, you get to search for an EV evolution that is the same type as that basic energy. So very good for decks that run um, multiple EV evolutions. And even if you don't, um, it's just kind of a, a helpful card in general. So we got Helioptile, a new one. Frillish, dazed and confused. Litwick, Forever Alone. Dedene, also has Nuzzle. Uh, Aloma, mom, 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 mom. Golbat, uh, another absolutely used card in the TCG right now. Sneaky Bite is super powerful. Well, not powerful, but helpful, I guess. Enhanced Hammer, another great card. 
Double colorless energy, you can never have too many. Reverse Joltek and Night Marsh, the deck I played at Nationals and absolutely bombed with. And Blissey. I got nothing for Blissey. Other than it's Blissey. That's really about it. So last but not least, well it might be least, I don't know. Uh, we got a Venonat, Purloin, Helioptile, Frillish, Litwick, Bulldore, Kingler, another double colorless energy, Venonat, and a Headringer. I have pulled a lot of these on camera. Uh, if you go back in my other Pokemon videos, I have pulled a lot of head ringers on camera. Um, I don't know why, I guess I'm just good at pulling head ringers, but uh, basically you attach it to an enemy's Pokemon, or a defending Pokemon as it's called in the game, and um, that one, that attack costs uh, like one colorless more. So like if you were attached to a Venonat for whatever reason, Stun Spore would now cause Grass Colorless Colorless to attack. So it's actually quite a good card. Not hugely used in competitive play, but um, a lot of the good decks at Nationals played uh, one or two Headringers. So always um, a cool card to have. So um, looking back at this box, we only got um, like two Hollows and an EX or something like that, which um, is not great, but um, I bought the set for the promo. So you do get the um, TCG Online card for the Metagross and Mega Metagross, the Jumbo card, the two actual promo cards, a coin, and of course, the Playmat, um, which it is actually kind of a lot cooler in person than uh, it did in the pictures I've seen. But uh, it's still not really doing it for me. But um, for $50 retail, this one actually was not that bad. Uh, mats can run anywhere from $10 to $20, depending on what you're buying. Um, two promo cards, a jumbo and a coin. That's usually about 5 or so dollars. And then uh, eight packs uh, in itself is at least like $26 or so. Um around there 28 maybe so you're looking at a pretty good deal um for the 50 dollars but it is a lot to spend at one time i did manage to get this for only 35 which is definitely super reasonable to me uh so uh, definitely worth it for that so if you can get it below the 50 dollar price then uh by all means i would bite if you are a fan of metagross um eight packs isn't too shabby and everything else is just really cool and mega metagross is actually a fairly playable card so thanks for watching take care and have a great one bye <laughs>